Hey all, uh, it's Halloweeny time again, and if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I not only love the night, but I also love making uh, DIY decorations for it. Now I know I have done this video before, but I had a few comments saying that it was a little too fast and that they couldn't keep up. So as promised, here is a slower version with written instructions on the bottom, how to make these cute little skull garland hanging thingies. Now with my 4.5 millimeter hook, it worked out at about eight inches, but I wanted mine quite tight. So I did it with my three millimeter. I think, I don't know the um, numbers on this one, wore off a long time ago. And this worked out at about six inches. Now we will be working in single crochets, half double crochets, double crochets, slip stitches, all in American terms. Uh, please feel free to pause it as you go along. Sorry if you guys had a hard time with the last one. It was just a recap for my crochet video. So I'm just using a normal DK weight yarn. And as I said, my three millimeter hook. Now I'll try to go through this as slowly as possible. Uh, fingers crossed this one helps you guys. Okay, to start this project, we need a magic circle to work into. So you can either just start with your slip knot on the hook, chain four, and then slip stitch into that first chain. So that's into that first chain, yarn over, pull through everything to make a little circle to work into. However, I find it gives a much neater finish. So from here, you would start with your chain three and then in through that circle, working around your tail so that you can pull it tight at the end. However, like I said, I find it a lot neater to do a magic circle. So with our tail end here, we'll wrap that around our three fingers, wrap it over the tail end and using your pinky to hold it in firm at the back, put your hook under, pull that working yarn through and twist to secure it and then holding your tail tight so it doesn't come loose and that base, we're then going to chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. These are American terms. We're then going to do another double crochet into that loop. So it's yarn over, into that loop, yarn over, pull through, three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two and that counts as our first two double crochets. We're now making a shell. So to do that, we're going to chain one and then back into that loop, yarn over, yarn over at the back, pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two again. And then we're gonna do another double crochet back, so we now have two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. We're then going to chain two and repeat that shell. Now this pattern is going to repeat on either side of the skull. So another two double crochets, yarn over into the loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and another one. and then chain one and another two double crochets in through that loop, one and two. So this is our foundation row and row one. We're then going to pull that thread, we'll darn that in at the end and now onto row two. Again, we're going to be repeating the either side throughout the pattern. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and then into that last double crochet we did, we're going to slip stitch. So 
in through the first stitch, yarn over and pull through and pull through the one on your hook. Oh, that's quite tight. And then into that next one, same thing. Ooh, should have used the bigger hook, this is quite tight. Yarn over and pull through everything. And same again, because we want to be working in that chain one space. So in through the chain space, yarn over and pull through. And we're now in, working in the middle of that first shell. So we're now going to chain three, and we're repeating our shell now. So we'll do one double crochet as that chain three counts as our first, chain one, and two more double crochets into that chain one space. One and two. Okay, we now want to create the foundation for our bottom lip. So we're going to chain seven. One, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip that chain two space and work directly into the chain one space of that end shell. So, ooh, lost my yarn over. One double crochet. Two double crochets, chain one, and two more double crochets. And that's the end of row two, and we've created the foundation for his lip. We now want to make his bottom lip, so we're going to chain one, turn our work and repeat what we did on the other side. So in through that first stitch with a slip stitch, in through that second double crochet, sorry, with a slip stitch and then again slip stitch into that chain one space. So three slip stitches. Again we're going to do our shell, so we're going to chain three, count as our first double crochet, into that chain one space, it's two double crochets, chain one, and two more double crochets to complete our shell. Now to do his bottom lip, we want to chain three. Now again, this chain three is going to be a repeating pattern. Okay. And now working around that chain seven space, we're going to do seven double crochets. So underneath that chain seven and one double crochet, two double crochets, three, four, Seven. And then we've done his bottom lip. We're then going to chain three and again into that chain one space of that end shell, two double crochets. Chain one and two double crochets. And now you can see that that shell pattern is going to repeat all the way around as a border to our actual skull. We're going to chain one, turn our work, slip stitch into the first, slip stitch into the second, and slip stitch into the chain one space. Chain three, do our shell, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, and two double crochets. And that's our shell. We now want to do the foundation for his top lip. 
So we're going to chain three, then into the first of those double crochets, going to do a single crochet, then chain seven, two, three, six and seven, and then into that last double crochet, we're going to single crochet. And then chain three, and into that shell, we're going to do two double crochets, one and two, chain one, and two double crochets. And that's the foundation for his top lip. So for row five, chain one, turn your work, slip stitch into the first stitch, slip stitch into the second stitch, slip stitch into the chain one space, and shell, chain three, one double crochet, chain one, one two double crochets, sorry, one and two, Okay, now for his top lip, we're going to chain three. And where we single crocheted in the previous row, we're going to single crochet into that single crochet. Ooh. Then around his top lip, or yeah, around his top lip, this chain seven, we're going to do seven more single crochets. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven, and then into that other single crochet, we'll do one more single crochet. So we now have nine across for his top lip, seven in the middle and one on each end. Then to finish row five, we're going to chain three. And then into that chain one space, two double crochets, chain one and two more double crochets. Row six, he needs a nose. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, slip stitch into the first stitch, Slip stitch into the second, slip stitch into that center, that chain one space, chain three, one double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. We're then going to chain three. Remember, we have nine here now. So in that first single crochet, we'll do one single crochet. Then two more, so three single crochets in the first three stitches. We're then going to double crochet in the fourth. Chain one. Skip the fifth and into the sixth, double crochet, and then seven, eight, and nine, three more single crochets. One, two, and three. So now he has a little nose and a proper top lip. Now chain three and into that shell, Ooh. two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. So row number six is his nose hole. 
For row number seven, chain one, turn your work, slip stitch into the first one, slip stitch into the second, and slip stitch into that chain one space, chain three, one double crochet, chain one, and two double crochets. That's our shell. Then going to chain three and into that first single crochet we're going to do a half double. So we're going to yarn over, in through the hole, yarn over, pull through and yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook. We're then going to chain seven, three, four, five, six and seven and into his nose hole, that chain one space, we're going to do a single crochet. We're then going to chain seven, three, four, five, six and seven and into that last single crochet we're going to do another half. So yarn over into the single crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three on your hook, mine's a bit tight. There we go. So one more half double crochet. Then we're going to chain three and into that chain one space do our shell. So two double crochets, chain one and two more double crochets. And now he has eye sockets. For row eight, we're going to chain one, turn our work, slip stitch into the first one, slip stitch into the second one, Ooh. attempt to slip stitch into that chain one space, and shell, chain three, one double crochet, chain one, two double crochets, chain three, one, two and three, into that half double we're going to do one single crochet, then around his first eye socket we're going to do seven more single crochets, so one, two, three, five, six, and seven. We're then going to skip straight over to the next eye socket and do seven more single crochets. One, two, three, four, ooh, five, let's move him out the way, five, Seven. We're then in that last half double going to do a, another single crochet Ooh. into that half double and now we've got seven and seven is 14, 15 and 16 and chain three and shell into that last shell. Two doubles, chain one and two more doubles. So row eight is his first row of his forehead. So row nine, again, chain one, turn our work, Slip stitch into the first double, slip stitch into the second double, slip stitch into the center, chain three, one single crochet, I mean one double crochet, chain one, two double crochets, chain three, one, two 
and three. And we're now going to be reducing his forehead from 16 to 14. So we're going to miss that first single crochet. I'm going to single crochet into the next six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Skip those center two. So skip one, two, and into the third single crochet six times one well not in that third one so one in there one in there so that's two three four five and six and you should have one left so that's one skipped at the, at the beginning one at the end two in the center so we now have 12 across then going to Excuse me, chain three and shell into that shell. So one double crochet, two double crochets, chain one and two more double crochets. Okay, so row ten, chain one, turn your work. Slip stitch, slip stitch, and slip stitch, chain three, one double crochet, chain one, two double crochets, and then chain three. We're now reducing our forehead from 12 to 10. So we're gonna skip that first one again and then single crochet in the next 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, nine and ten which should leave one on the end and then chain three and shell in that shell two double crochets chain one and two double crochets and that's row ten okay so on to row 11, chain one, turn our work, slip stitch over to that center, one, two, and three. Do our shell, so chain three, one double crochet, chain one, and two double crochets. Okay, we're now reducing our forehead from 10 to 6. So we're going to chain 3 and skip the first 2 and into the third. We'll do 6 double crochets. I mean single crochets, sorry. What am I saying? That's four, five, and six. So we have two missed on the front, on the end, and two missed in the beginning. Then chain three and two double crochets. Chain one and two double crochets in that previous round shell. Okay, we're almost done. So 11 is reducing it to 6. We're going to do our final reduction on that forehead now for row 12. So we're going to chain 1, turn our work, slip stitch into the 
first, into the second, and into that center. Ooh, chain one space, chain three, double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. We're then going to chain three, skip that first one into the next four. One, two, three, and four single crochets. Chain three. So here we've got one skip there and one skip there. Shell into that previous or previous rows and shell. So two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. Okay. So that is basically our skull complete. So now we just want to close it up like this end. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, slip stitch into the first, slip stitch into the second, slip stitch into the chain, one space, shell, so chain three, one double crochet, chain one, two double crochets, And now we're just going to skip straight into that other shell on the other side. So we're going to shell in there. So two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. Now I have just finished it like this on occasion and used it as just coasters or I did little ones as bookmarks in a thin fine cotton but we're going to turn this into a hanging garland so in order to add our next one we're going to chain one and we're now slip stitching all the way over to the center one so we're going to slip stitch in that first stitch slip stitch in the second slip stitch into the center slip stitch into that next double crochet, slip stitch into that last double crochet, so that's five slip stitches, and then into that center between those two shells with a sixth slip stitch. Okay. And now to start our next one, we're going to work out how what distance we want in between the hanging ones, and we're going to, in my case, I wanted ten, so chain ten, three, four, five, six, and seven, oh, eight, nine, and ten, uh, number seven stuck in my head because of these, and we're going to build the foundation for us to start our next one down at the bottom. So I'm going to put my finger on, or my thumb, on the tenth one, and then going to chain a further four, three, and four, and into that first one of the four, we're going to start that shell pattern from row one again. So we're going to do one double crochet into that fourth one. Chain one. Two more double crochets into that same chain space or chain. Two. We then need to do the gap in between the two. So we're going to chain two and do another shell. So right back into that same hole with two double crochets, chain one and two more double crochets. So this is round one again. And now we've started the foundation for our next skull. So that's this row one that we did, the foundation. So we then, again, chain one, slip stitch to the center, do a shell, chain the seven, and shell in the end again. So feel free to rewind back to the beginning at this point and 
go through it again so you can complete your next one and your next one and make it exactly how long you want it. Uh, I hope this much slowed down version has helped those who are having issues with the first video. As it did say, it was just a recap for my class. Um, you see, if you've got any more comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Sorry it took me a couple of days to do this updated version. Um, I do believe it is possible to slow down the other one, but it, I was making some more of these for Halloween anyway, so I thought I'd just do the slow version. Also, this one does have the written instructions down below, so I hope that helped. But again, if you like the video, feel free to comment, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again for another video soon. Bye!